So I recently turned 16 and here are 16 facts about me that you may or may not know. I am filming this video for the second time now so make sure that you watch it till the end. I would really appreciate that. I love Japanese language and their culture a lot. That's why I learned Japanese because I think that it will get me closer to the culture. I've been watching anime since I was very small so I think I have quite an attachment with Japanese. But I don't know why the way that I learned Hindi and, and the other languages, I couldn't learn Japanese even though I was listening to it all the time. I love having bangs because it relates me to music. Every singer that I have ever seen has had bangs once in their life. But I'm not talking about this, this is a disaster. I tried something at home and that's why um, something terrible happened to my hair. But let's not talk about that. I love music so much that I have started writing my own song since I was 9 years of age. I was in 5th grade and I started learning to play the guitar when I was 11 years old in 7th grade. Back in the days when I had just started writing songs, they didn't have a proper structure and they were messy and they didn't have a chorus, a pre-chorus or a bridge or anything. They, didn't, they just had a verse. Not a verse, they had many verses. But right now, my songs are at that level that I can easily publish my songs on YouTube. But the thing is that I don't have music because I can't play the guitar and um, I'm self-learning it myself. I love pop songs amongst everything else in this world. I love Bollywood, I love K-pop, I love everything else but pop songs are just my thing. I really want to be a multilingual person. I love learning songs in other languages and I actually love learning a new language and my first aim uh, of learning a new language is learning their songs like recently along with Japanese I had also started learning Chinese but because both of the languages are so similar I really got confused and left Chinese halfway. I don't know about Mandarin or Cantonese or any regional language they have in China but the things that I hear in Chinese dramas are quite cute and I never thought that I would say this but I actually like Chinese languages. Chinese language. English is my favorite language and that's the reason why I write songs, novels, poems and stories and everything else. And maybe that's why I speak in English in my videos. But there is also another reason why I only speak English in my videos. That's because the other languages that I know, Hindi and Bengali, my voice sounds terrible in those languages. If you have seen my Hindi videos, I made three of them, you would know the difference. I don't know why this happens, maybe because I speak English more um, properly and pronounce every word like they should be pronounced. Maybe that's why. And because I'm a native at Bengali and Hindi, maybe that's why I don't actually pronounce every word like they should be pronounced. Last year, I realized that I don't actually like the things that most other people do. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean that those things are bad or not good for health or something. It's just that because most people are doing it, so I don't want to do it. Even if I like it, I won't do it because I think that I would be doing it out of peer pressure. Actually, that might not be the case at all, but I don't want to feel that I'm doing a certain thing just because the others are doing it. I would give you a very interesting example about that. Remember the movie Spider-Man No Way Home that released in 16th or 17th December last year? I was really excited to watch it, but I couldn't. And I thought that I would watch it a few days later, but then I saw my friends going out and watching the movie. Then something happened to me and I just dropped the plan and I know it sounds completely stupid, but I still haven't watched the movie yet. I love to watch anime, Chinese dramas and Korean dramas. Even though about Korean dramas, I have only watched one Korean drama this year, that is Boys of a Flower and I absolutely loved it. So I thought that I should start watching gay drama, so I already love it. I would spend hours just looking at the trees, the clouds and the sky. I just really love it and they are so inspirational. 
Every time I write a song, you would find me at the terrace or at the balcony, just staring at the nature, which gives me inspiration. I just hate it when someone does anything that goes against sustainable development, like don't leave the lights open or don't waste water. Even when I'm filming this video, I feel really bad because all the lights are on in this room and um, my phone's battery is running out so I have to charge it again and again. And it just saddens me when I do something that goes against sustainable development. I mean, I can't blame myself but I do feel sad about it. This fact is really weird because I drink so much water all day but still I don't have clear skin. I have a good memory and that I realized in 2018 or 19, I remember everyone's birthday but no one remembers mine and it really scares me when I forget something. I recently found out that I can actually memorize answers really well and score really good marks and exams. I just realized that so I will make sure that I actually use that thing in this academic year or this session. My current obsession is Taylor Swift. Like my Instagram stories, reels, YouTube shorts or um, YouTube videos, Spotify playlist, everything is full of Taylor Swift. And you wouldn't believe that every time I smile, I smile because of her songs. You might think it's crazy because I am listening to her songs and smiling like crazy. If you ever want to gift me something, like even a small urge to gift me something, make sure to go to the stationery shop and buy me novels, books, washi tapes, pens, pencils, markers, highlighters, colors, paints, and you can do one thing. You can literally buy me the entire stationery shop. I mean, that would be the best gift ever for me. When I was in third grade, I started writing comic books. Maybe I didn't finish it, I don't remember, but the name was Fairy Tale. It didn't have any fairy tale in it, but, this, but still the name was Fairy Tale. When I was in fourth grade, I wrote another comic book um, and I finished it. But the thing is that I don't remember the title of the comic book. So I can't tell. But it was really good. I could show it to you if I had it to myself. I really want to see it myself too. When I was in 5th grade, I was obsessed with Wings Club. So I wrote another comic related to Wings Club. But I didn't even... I mean, didn't even read the plot of it and ended it. And when I was in 7th grade, I wrote a funny story that was the mode of our laughter in class. My friends and I would sit and read the story aloud and laugh like crazy. Everyone would look at us like, why are they laughing like that? There wasn't even a joke said in the class. It was really fun. The worst thing about that was when someone else would read that story, they would think we were actually crazy. When I was in eighth grade, I started writing a novel on WordPad. Um, it was a fantasy story and the title was Palestina or something, I actually didn't name it but that's the name of the character. But you know what, I didn't continue the story because something happened to my PC. It was restored again but I didn't want to continue that story anymore. Maybe I will in the future. And as you know, by the end of the 8th grade, I started reading a Wattpad book called Can't It Touch Your Heart. And that book, that book changed my whole life. By the way, I'm writing a fan fiction of Can't It Touch Your Heart since 2019 and it's still not finished yet. But I will finish it later. It changed my life so much that I don't leave a book unwritten. The first novel that I finished was There's Something About Him and the second one was Losing Someone Dearer and right now I'm working on the third one along with the fanfiction of City Heart. I didn't actually name it yet but I think Eyes Behind the Disguise would be cool. And recently I'm into short stories too so I actually started writing some a few short stories. I don't know when and how to post it, but um, let's see. So that's all that I have for you guys today. I'm really happy that you took your time, watched the whole video and came to the last part. 
if you have been watching me since a very long time and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe and comment down below anything that you like anything that you like from this video about me about yourself write anything i would really appreciate that and if you have nothing to write comment an emoji and i will reply to it with another emoji and you can follow me on twitter and instagram if you want to and like this video if you want to and i will see you guys in my next video next saturday bye peace